Well, I suppose when it comes to the box office, you know what Scott Steiner says. The numbers don't lie! Because Spider-Man managed to skyrocket to the top of the box office some nine months after leaving the theaters. You didn't see that coming? No, I don't think we did, Craven, but thank you. So yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff edition, aka the DLC edition of the film, released back to theaters this past weekend. And over this American celebration weekend, obviously it's a holiday, it managed to snag $6 million. Which, honestly, is pretty good considering that all across the United States, we literally had super discounted tickets this Saturday. Again, if you saw the film on Saturday, you know that tickets were like $3, which honestly probably helped the film go as far up as it did. But also, let's be real, it probably hindered the film making a little bit more money during the course of the entire weekend. But then you could also bring up the argument of, well, people were willing to see it because it was three bucks for a ticket and not like, you know, 10 to 15 to whatever. So either way it goes, it doesn't really matter. It's added another 6 million in the United States and we still don't have the full worldwide report, but it will be interesting to see just how big the film is when it's all said and done. And I think this is a good indicator that this weekend it did pretty decently and who knows how long it could remain in theaters with this version of the film whether they choose to extend it for a couple weeks just to hopefully try to make it to that two billion dollar mark which we talked about which sony definitely wants because it would be their first film even though it is a co-produced and obviously put out and disney gets a large chunk of the back end still sony can tout this as a two billion dollar film their first ever just like spider-man far from home was their first ever film to pass a billion dollars and they were happy about it so it'll be interesting to see what happens next but overall a pretty solid weekend for spider-man considering that it was well doing pretty good when it came to the film actually bringing people in especially that people have already seen the film for quite a long time being able to own a physical copy of it or a digital copy you know since like spring so again there was definitely interest there to see this extended cut which has got to be good for spider-man as a brand of course not just spider-man the character well i guess all of it just all of it because toy sales are probably going to rise from this as well